Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Hello, welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today we're going to be making a Jamaican style yam and okra curry. What we have here at the front, I've got some uh, scallions or spring onions, some fresh coriander or cliantro, some chopped okra. I've then at the back got some finely diced onions with a little bit of fresh thyme. I've also got some uh, yam here, which has been parboiled already. So it's not, it's not completely cooked, it's still quite firm. At the back, in the center, I've got some cream coconut. If you can't get that, you could use uh, coconut milk, but this is much better. And in the center, I've got some coarsely chopped ginger, some Jamaican curry powder, which you need. If you don't know how to make that or you can't get your hands on, the, on any, please check our uh, other cha uh, the video on the channel and explain how it's made. Uh, and I've got some, um, just some small bird chilies, which I've just split like that. I'm gonna put them in a hole like that. I'm not using a uh, Scotch bonnet in this one. Um, you can if you want, which is a traditional more Jamaican chili. So it's very simple, we're going to use a little touch of water in this as well, uh, some salt and pepper and a little bit of oil. So let's get over to the cooker. Okay, so here we are, I've got the pan on the heat here. I've got like a centimeter of sunflower oil. I want to get that nice and hot. Let's just check that out. That's quite good. And we're just going to get our yam in first. I just want to fry our yam up a little bit. Get a little bit more crispy. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper while I'm here. When you're preparing your yam, some, some, well, there's many different types of yam, first of all. Um, this is a white yam. You can get some that are a deep purple color, even, and orange. Not to be confused with sweet potato, but yeah, when you're peeling it, it, it it's it's got a kind of gluey stickiness about it, uh, and in some cases can be an irritant to the skin. It's also important to um, peel once you peel it, get it straight into water because it, it turns a, 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 a kind of brownish colour very quickly. And like I say, I've just sort of boiled these for like sort of six or seven minutes. Um, you just treat them exactly as you treat a potato, really. So let's get this stirred up. I'll be back in a couple of minutes when they brown slightly, and then we'll add some more ingredients. Okay, so that's just been a couple of minutes, just to seal them nicely. I've also removed 75% of that oil now. We've only got a touch in there now, otherwise the, uh, this will be far too oily. So I've reduced the oil, and these are looking nice and crispy, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is get in our cup of chilies, some coarse ginger, and our Jamaican curry powder. It's very important that you use Jamaican curry powder for this, and not an Indian or a Pakistani or any other type, because it's very different. Like I say, just check out our channel to see how to make this, which is very simple, it's very beautiful. So now what we'll do is we're going to add our onions. And a little bit of the thyme. Not too much. I'm using fresh thyme here. You could use dried if you were unable to get fresh thyme, but the fresh thyme is obviously so much more nicer. Okay, so let me get a lid on this. We'll be back in two or three minutes. Okay, so let's take a look here. really nicely. 
Now we're going to add our okra or lady stingers, however you call it. We also can just add a little splash or two of cold water, not too much. It's not turning now. We'll add a little bit more water later. So let's just get the lid back on there. I'll be back in two or three minutes. Okay, so there's those two or three minutes over with. That was just to uh, stop the powder from burning, the curry spices, and just to add a little bit more moisture so that the okra can cook. Now we're simply gonna add our scallions or spring onions and our uh, fresh coriander or piantro, however you pronounce that. Now we're going to just top this up with some more cold water. So we've got about half a litre in total of water in here now. So let's just Bring that to the boil, then we're going to simmer it just for about five minutes. So, yeah, let's come back in a couple of minutes and see how she's doing. Okay, here we are then. Just a couple of minutes later, this has all come together beautifully. Now I'm going to add some uh, creamed coconut. Like I say, if you, if you don't have this, you can use tinned coconut milk or I wouldn't use dried coconut in this one but uh, yeah, the cream coconut's delicious as you can see it's immediately melting in there and making a great consistency for this curry okay let's turn the heat right down now I'm gonna have a little taste of this salt and pepper and this really is delicious I can taste that it's got a real kick to it but at the same time it's very smooth and subtle with the coconut we've added and the uh, coriander or cliantro whatever you call that okay so let's get a lid on these dishes will be done will be done in, in two or three minutes so Let's just have a two or three minutes on a low heat and you can serve this with rice and peas or rice or however you want with some roti. We'll see you next time. Enjoy. Take care. Bye bye. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.